Hi, this is Mark Evanstein with music.py, and this is a Python music short. So for today's Python music short, I decided to cook up something a little bit ridiculous, which is a uh, very rudimentary physics simulator of a bouncing ball turned into music. So the basic idea is we import everything from Scamp, make a session, make a piano, and then uh, I start the pitch at 80. And basically the idea here is that pitch is like the height. And so it's falling in pitch and then it's bouncing back up and bouncing and bouncing. So we start with pitch 80. And of course we have something called a pitch velocity, which is how quickly it's changing in pitch. And I'm gonna start with pitch velocity zero, which is like dropping the ball from rest at a height. And then of course there's pitch acceleration too, which I've decided to make negative 9.8. Um, as an homage to gravity. Uh, now this is negative 9.8 half steps uh, per second squared, um, but you know, basically the same idea. And so we have a loop while well, true. So we're gonna do tiny time steps of 0 0.05 seconds. And for each time step, we're gonna play the current pitch. Then we're gonna add the acceleration times the change in time to the velocity. So velocity is affected by acceleration then add the velocity times the change in time to pitch. So pitch goes up with velocity. And then the one last thing here is if the pitch falls below 25, then we flip the velocity sign. So that's like basically creating a ball, uh, uh, sorry, creating a floor at the bottom, right? So at pitch 25, which is a pretty low note, when it hits that, it's got some negative velocity. And when it crosses that threshold, the negative velocity turns into positive velocity and it flies back up again. So let's take a listen. So maybe negative 9.8 was a little slow. It's a little bit like dropping a ball on the moon. Let's try negative 40. Now you might be noticing it's not always going up to the same height each time, actually it's getting lower and lower how high the ball bounces. You might think that's friction or something, but I didn't build any friction into this system. The actual reason for that is because of the approximating nature of this. Um, it's not a perfectly small time step. And so as a result, it just doesn't bounce quite as high. Something about the approximation causes it to lose energy over time. Energy is not conserved if you're doing these kind of finite time steps. Um, anyway, let's let's have a bounce a little faster. Let's do negative 100, or well, negative 98. quicker and quicker. Then at the end, something kind of weird happens that I don't totally understand. Um, if you know what's going on at the end, um, put it in the comments. Let me know what the heck is going on. Anyway, that's some bouncing ball physics simulation music for you. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try any of this yourself, I've put links in the description. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, or eat a really delicious sandwich.